Four years ago, my surf looked like this. And now, my surf looks like this. In this video, I will show you why I changed my surf. What kind of adjustments I needed to make in order to have a better surf and also what is still left to do. We shared this video on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Because of the views and the comments, I decided to make this video to give you information about my surf and also that you can learn from it to improve your surf as well. So let's have a look at my surf of four years ago. There are four elements that cause some problems with my surf. And element one is the pinpoint. Number two is the tray with my racket. Number three is limited power from my arms and my legs. And number four is the body rotation. So let me show you how I fixed this and why it needed to be fixed. Element number one is going from a pinpoint to a platform stance. And it's not that the pinpoint or the platform is better than the other. It's just about experimenting what suits you best. So I started experimenting with the platform stance, trying to copy Roger Federer um, and gaining a lot of experience with it. Then I tried to start implementing just only with a toss, not even with a racket in my hand. Then I started adding a racket and just involving the legs a little bit more feeling where the pressure is, is there a pressure on my left leg or on my right leg or is it maybe balanced and then trying to copy the serve without hitting the ball and just step by step I took it a little bit further and uh, from there just surfing from like my place to jumping with the serve um, I gained more experience. Serve is a hip dominant movement and because of the platform stance my hip was in the right spot. Instead of my left leg going forward just before I served, when I served, I could use my hip more uh, to generate power, to bring that hip forward, and by doing so, having more motion and more power. Element number two is getting rid of the waiter's tray surf and transforming my surf into a smoother and more explosive motion. I achieved this by focusing on three things. And number one is moving into the trophy position. Number two is imagining to have a birthday hat on my head and that I needed to tap that off my head. By doing this, I skipped the waiter's tray. Number three is accelerating from the trophy position phase to hitting the ball. And I practice this by being very explosive and to let my racket drop more. Element number three was limited power from my arm and my legs. And what really helped me here was practicing the rhythm of going from slow to really fast. So when you start the motion of your surf, in the beginning you want to be really slow. But then just before you hit the ball, when you are in that trophy position, you want to go to a really fast, explosive motion. And the surf is all about the rhythm. Really important thing was going to the gym. Improving your surf is not only about improving your technical abilities, but also your physical abilities. And if you subscribe to this channel, you will see more videos about the physical part in the future. Last but not least is the body rotation. Okay, so followed by the platform stance, my body was really rotating because of it. And um, I also tried to, to, do it just, to, to do it just more. Because of um, filming myself, I noticed that I was not really rotating. The platform stance made sure that I, that I rotated more. But because of filming myself, I could see that I needed to improve that. And I'm a tennis coach, so I know uh, what to look for and how to improve that. But I can guarantee you that if you film yourself and if you share it with your coach or your online coach, and that could be me or the other tennis world coaches, we can really improve your serve and your game. And if you really would like to have online coaching and video feedback, check the link in the description below because we really can help you with 
your game. There was also one other element that helped me and that was uh, making a difference in the height of my shoulders. When I tossed the ball, I really wanted to have a high tossing shoulder um, and the hitting shoulder to be really low. But then when I want to accelerate uh, for hitting the ball, I want that to change so that my tossing shoulder was really low and my hitting shoulder really high. Give this video a thumbs up because if we hit more than 30 likes I will make another video about my future surf plan. I hope you really liked this video, please hit that subscribe button, it will really help us to make better videos and help you to improve with your game and I hope I inspired you with my surf transformation. Let me know if you want me to make more videos like this one, like about my, my forehand, about my backhand and other stuff in my game. So again, please hit that subscribe button, do a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.